Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. Over the last few lectures we have been discussing about cross metathesis. This is the reaction of uh, great industrial importance particularly a for its application uh, in uh, being used uh, in couple with uh, shop uh, shell higher olefin process as well as isomerization for producing feedstock uh, uh, of uh, uh, detergents. And uh, we have uh, uh, discussed in great details the how this cr uh, story of cross methodism is being used in shop uh, came uh, into being. Now, we have also uh, discussed uh, the various uh, advantages as well as uh, disadvantages of cross metathesis reaction. And in this context what we have learned is that a major limitation of cross metathesis reaction is its lack of selectivity. Now, uh, by lack of selectivity I mean uh, the type of uh, cross metathesis pro uh, products, uh, olefinic products uh, produced from the uh, uh, reacting uh, uh, to two different olefins and they include uh, all combinations of homodimers which can be possible uh, by the individual reaction of each of the olefin with itself as well as uh, the formation of the cross uh, uh, metathesis product which is uh, obviously the uh, desired product of the reaction. Another uh, uh, issue with lack of selectivity is that uh, these uh, homodimers as there are like two of the homodimer uh, dimers and one of the cross uh, metathesis products uh, all of them uh, uh, also appear as a mixture of E and Z isomers. So, here we see that a large number of uh, a mixture of products uh, E and Z isomers of each of the homodimers as well as E and Z isomer of the uh, cross uh, metathesis products so they are formed and hence uh, 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 separation and isolation of each of the uh, products become uh, a problem. All the more uh, uh, it is important to note that uh, these uh, 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 polymers may not be too easy to separate given the fact that uh, though their molecular weight uh, uh, in some cases may vary like from one homodimer to, to another homodimer uh, uh, to the cross metathesis products. However, uh, between uh, the E and Z isomer of each of these homodimer or cross metathesis products, uh, the molecular weight remains the same. So, uh, it is a very challenging effort to separate uh, these isomers after cross metathesis reaction. Now, if one may want to think a, a, a bit and try to understand that why uh, is uh, so many different uh, products. Uh, being formed in cross metathesis reaction, then one can see that uh, by and large this metathesis reactions are uh, thermoneutral in uh, uh, nature. That means that uh, there is no energy gain in formation of the product because whatever CC bond is broken uh, uh, in the substrate that many CC bond is formed uh, in the product. So, actually uh, uh, this thermoneutrality brings in all the more complexity in formation of large number of uh, products. Uh -huh. So, uh, we have uh, looked into uh, various uh, uh, strategies that have been put in place uh, uh, to enhance the selectivity particularly with respect to formation of the cross metathesis product and a beautiful demonstration of this uh, towards this end was given uh, reported by Grubbs uh, in which uh, he had homopolymerized uh, 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 one of the olefins first uh, to give the uh, one of the homopolymer product and then introduce the second olefin uh, to produce uh, uh, the cross metathesis product in higher yields. So, that was uh, the story of sequential addition of uh, 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 two olefins uh, so as to enhance the yield of the cross metathesis product and we had discussed this uh, work of Professor Grubbs in the previous lecture. We have also seen another strategy in which uh, to fish out a uh, uh, larger yield of the cross metathesis product. This strategy involves uh, uh, immobilizing one of the olefins on a polymer surface so that uh, the cross metathesis product so formed after the reaction with the second olefin uh, stays impregnated on the polymer surface whereas uh, the soluble homo uh, uh, 
uh, homo uh, dimer uh, uh, metathesis products uh, uh, can be separated out or uh, uh, washed out uh, from the polymer surface. So, we had uh, looked at ways and means of uh, enhancing uh, the selectivity of this cross metathesis reaction. Today in this lecture we are going to uh, look at some more uh, uh, important applications of uh, cross metathesis reactions and this will sort of uh, indicate uh, the total overall spread uh, uh, of this uh, metathesis cross metathesis reaction. So, we are going to look at some of the examples of cross metathesis reaction um, today. and this is given by the equation alpha olefin giving the following product And uh, obviously, in this case, uh, uh, ethylene is uh, eliminated The other example is this again giving out ethylene gives the following product so it is to be noted that uh, both E Z mixture is obtained in this case as well as in the previous case. Similarly, The other examples include the following reaction. This is a protecting group of the end alcohol moiety. This is called vinyl phosphine oxide the reacting to give ethylene. TBSO TPH2 Similarly Another reaction uh, 
আর ইথার মাইটি ভিনাইল ফিনাইল ইথার উইথ আ ফিশার কার্বিন কমপ্লেক্স ক্রোমিয়াম সিও ফাইভ সো দিস ইজ কলড ডেল্টা আলফা বেটা কামা ডেল্টা ডেল্টা আনস্যাচুরেটেড ফিশার কার্বিন কমপ্লেক্স গিভিং CO5. So, uh, uh, this is an interesting uh, example uh, where uh, one sees that even uh, the metal uh, carbene or fissure carbene uh, moiety uh, uh, does not uh, remains intact uh, in the process of cross uh, metathesis and uh, um, uh, the is not affected uh, by the uh, ruthenium catalyst. So, as we had discussed in our previous uh, lecture, uh, similarly uh, this phosphine oxide uh, stays intact uh, uh, during the uh, course of uh, metathesis. So, uh, as uh, we had discussed in uh, our earlier case uh, that one of the uh, important uh, feature of Grubbs uh, ruthenium catalyst is that uh, uh, they are functional group tolerant and the catalyst does not get affected by presence of different other different functionality of the olefin and a big uh, realization of that concept uh, or demonstration of this concept uh, is seen in uh, for these two substrates where uh, we can see that even a metal carbene moiety uh, as well as a phosphine oxide moiety uh, does not uh, 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 attack uh, uh, the metal center that carry out this cross metathesis reaction. Uh, so, uh, we have been looking at uh, some of the important applications of cross metathesis reaction and with uh, that uh, we come uh, uh, to end of our discussion on cross metathesis reaction. Let me uh, just review uh, uh, how we have uh, looked at uh, the various important uh, utility of cross metathesis reaction with respect to producing feedstock, uh, feedstock for detergent and that uh, story goes back to uh, using uh, the uh, lower than C8 fragments and uh, higher than C2018 uh, alpha olefin fragments obtained from shop process uh, to convert to a range of uh, C12 to C20 a fragment, uh, alpha olefin fragments which uh, were then converted to uh, the feedstock for detergent by uh, uh, hydroformylation reaction. We have also looked at uh, the various uh, limitation uh, or the main limitation of cross metathesis reaction which had been its selectivity and then uh, we have uh, looked into various applications of cross metathesis reaction and there uh, we had observed that one of their primary reason for their success uh, is uh, uh, the functional group tolerance and which we have seen that uh, is uh, 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 survives uh, various functional group including metal carbon complexes on of its olefin and carries uh, carries out the uh, desired cross metathesis uh, reaction. So, we are going to uh, now take up another uh, new uh, 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 class, subclass of uh, olefin metathesis uh, uh, and this is uh, acyclic diene uh, metathesis uh, uh, reaction uh, metathesis polymerization. Uh, 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 in the next uh, 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 part, part of the as a part of the lec uh, lecture uh, as a next topic. And uh, this is uh, uh, 
commonly referred to as admit. and this is designated by the following equation now we see that admit also suffers from uh, same limitation with regard to the reaction being uh, thermoneutral. Reaction being thermoneutral means that there is no drive for the product formation and the product formation is driven by removal of this uh, olefin from out of the system. So, this is a, 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 a nice way of tilting the equilibrium towards the product formation uh, by uh, uh, mo uh, removing one of the uh, uh, byproducts of the reaction. So, point to note is alkene metathesis reactions and this includes uh, all uh, types of metathesis reactions RCM, ROM, ADMET, uh, uh, olefin metathesis, alkyne metathesis. So, all of them per se uh, are thermoneutral. in nature. And the desired direction of the shift of the reaction towards product formation is achieved by removal of volatile, uh, volatile ethylene of volatile byproduct. So, oh, this is an important uh, strategy whereby uh, uh, this byproduct ethylene is removed and as a result uh, uh, the reaction is driven uh, towards uh, product formation. We are going to uh, look into some examples of uh, admit. And uh, uh, this uh, is going to throw light on type of uh, applications uh, or materials uh, that are produced using uh, admit reaction. So, one of the rea uh, reaction we are considering is depicted as given below. to be an this giving ethylene and the following polymer And 
uh, these are important polymers because they are uh, amino acid functionalized polymer. So, they have uh, this important chiral functional moieties attached to uh, this polymer backbone uh, which is nonpolar in nature. Another example of ADMET is given by this equation. CH2 whole 6 CH3 CH3 that also gives ethylene to give this following polymer and this monomer is called 1 4 di vinyl 2 5 bis hep t loxy benzene so what we see is that the uh, 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 this is a polymer of uh, polymer of uh, this uh, uh, ben aromatic uh, backbone uh, and uh, it has its own uh, applications. We are going to take a look at some more applications of admit examples. And this is an interesting compound of phosphorus another phosphorus with this olefinic bond. So, it has long CH2 and that eliminating ethylene to give the following compound And uh, this is phosphazine containing polymer
and uh, this is phosphorzine uh, olefin backbone. So, uh, what is uh, interesting uh, over here is the functional group tolerance and that uh, even uh, the moieties like phosphazine uh, 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 is unattacked by the catalyst and that made polymerization of uh, phosphazine backbone is achieved and which sort of again highlights uh, the functional group tolerance of uh, 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 this metathesis uh, uh, catalyst particularly of ruthenium. So, with this uh, we come to um, and uh, uh, end uh, of this admit uh, polymerization, uh, I am going to end with one more example uh, of admit and uh, in this case uh, we will see that uh, not only the uh, phosphazine, but also bor uh, boronate uh, compounds uh, uh, can be used uh, uh, to uh, uh, give this uh, uh, polymer and that again uh, uh, highlights uh, the uh, functional uh, group tolerance uh, uh, of these uh, 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 ruthenium based uh, 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 metathesis catalyst. And uh, here uh, the point to note is that even this uh, boronate moiety uh, remains uh, untouched uh, uh, by that uh, the ruthenium catalyst and the functional uh, uh, group tolerance of the ruthenium metathesis catalyst is, uh, catalyst is highlighted. So, with this uh, uh, we come uh, to an end of uh, uh, the, our discussion on admit, uh, uh, cat, uh, uh, admit uh, uh, reactions uh, and this is uh, uh, acyclic diene metathesis polymerization reactions. Uh, what we had observed that for admit uh, as well as other cross metathesis reaction since these reactions are thermoneutral in nature. Uh, so, one way to drive the product formation is by uh, removing the volatile components of the uh, product uh, uh, more uh, quickly and in this case the byproduct uh, is uh, ethylene by so by removing lethylene the reaction is driven forward. Uh, we have looked into some of the examples of admit and what we had seen that uh, a very many uh, different scaffolds can be prepared using admit polymerization uh, and uh, we uh, what sort of high highlights is that these uh, catalysts are indeed functional group tolerant and that allows uh, formation of different kinds of uh, polymer uh, using admit uh, uh, reactions. So, with this we come to the conclusion of today's uh, lecture. In today's lecture we discussed about the applications of uh, uh, applications of uh, cross metathesis as well as uh, admit. We are going to take up a new topic, uh, uh, a new subclass of metathesis reaction, partic particularly ring opening metathesis or ROM when we uh, meet uh, next. Uh, till then, uh, uh, I thank you once again for being with me in this lecture and I look forward uh, to take up this uh, uh, ROM uh, or ring opening metathesis uh, reaction in more details when we uh, see next time. So, with uh, that goodbye and thank you.